I spent $30.85 total on these items, and I flipped them for $406.01. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about Bolo items. These are easier to find items, items that you can pick up really cheap just about anywhere. Thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, the Goodwill bins, YouTube auctions, you name it. These items are easier to find and cheap. Um, I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. And I'm going to tell you how I flipped these bread and butter bolos, items that I sold for $35 or less on eBay. I spent $30.85 total on these items, and I flipped them for $406.01. So let's get started. And the first item I sold is this candle. And this is a vintage nativity candle. It's a pillar candle. And honestly, I thought this was going to fly out of my store and this took forever to sell. So uh, somebody asked me, you know, how long does it take for your items to sell? Honestly, I have no idea. I don't keep track of that. I don't care. I am a list it and forget it kind of girl. Um, the more you list, the less you worry about how long things are listed because even those older sales, they just come in and every day you're having consistent sales. So to me, I, I don't keep track of that. So I'm a bad person to ask, but I will typically say, oh, this sold really quick if it sold really quick. Or I don't really mention average sales, but like this one, I know it took a long time to sell. So I will let you guys know that. Um, I got it at a garage sale for $1 and I may have just had it priced kind of too high. Um, it was on sale for $25.99 and I ended up taking a best offer of $15. So this may have just been an issue of bad pricing on my behalf. So um, the buyer did pay shipping. So they were all in for $26.24 for this candle. These sold really fast. They are Clover Quick Yo-Yo Makers. So they are for quilting. And I got these at a um, estate sale clean out. So I probably have about a buck in all of them. And I sold these for a best offer of $20 plus shipping. This little piggy right here is from the Boyd's collection. Uh, I will pick up Boyd's bears. A lot of people are like, no way. I'm not picking them up. I'm not wasting my time. They are major bread and butter. Some of them are. But there are the Boyd's minis. I have a whole video on it that sell for big money. So make sure you don't miss those. Um, some can sell for hundreds of dollars. This guy right here, I got out of the Goodwill bin. So I probably have about a buck in him, maybe less. And he's a piggy. He doesn't have his original tag. So I did price him lower. I ended up selling him for $7 on best offer plus shipping. But I will tell you he sold really quickly. But I also priced him really competitively. Let me um, turn the volume off on my phone here. Getting messages. All right. The next item came from a mystery uh, teeble. It's called a teeble. It's basically a reseller box, a mystery reseller box that I got from Auctions for You. I will link her down in the description of the video. If you're looking for reseller inventory, her and Donatella Bottolino both have a YouTube channel and I buy from both of them. They go back and forth on each other's channels and they sell to resellers. So definitely check them out. This gas cap right here, it's Harley Davidson. And if it would have been in like better condition, I could have gotten a lot more money for it, but it had some scratches and scuffs, which is typical for a used item. And um, I just disclosed the, that it was used. I probably could have buffed it out and cleaned it up. Like, I mean, it's kind of gross, but I'm, I'm not that reseller. I just list it as is and show the scuffs, the marks and the scratches. Now, my husband, he would want to like sand it down or whatever you do, buff it out. And I'm just like, nope, I'm not doing it. I'd rather take less money than spend my time cleaning it up. I sold this for $18.60 plus shipping. Let me know down in the comments, what kind of reseller are you? Are you a clean it up or sell it as is? The next item is this patch. And you guys are probably going to think I'm nuts, but I got this at the Goodwill bin. So it was probably like 10 cents. It is a Finding Nemo Dory iron-on embroidered patch. 
And it's just a simple patch, but it's Disney and it cost me next to nothing. And I sold this on best offer for $5 plus shipping. Um, this next item uh, was purchased by Hot Toys Summer in the City. And this is her eBay store. And I will link it down below in the description. Um, I appreciate your purchase. Thank you so much. Um, I'm not going to mention any names, but this is her store. So if you guys want to go and follow her, you can save her as a seller by clicking on the heart and you can see what she's got listed. She bought this vintage Disney Mickey's Pals Mickey Mouse plush bag purse. And I just love this. And, you know, I thought it was going to fly out of my store. And it took a long time to sell. And it did sell to a viewer. But I'm just shocked that it didn't sell quicker. It is the cutest little tote bag. Maybe I didn't have great keywords. I don't know. But I just thought it was incredible. So she picked this up for a best offer of $25. And... Uh, buyer paid shipping on that. So just an awesome I item, I think. I don't know. I don't know. Like some things like I'm just wrong about. I think this is going to be a bolo and it's going to sell super quick. And sometimes they don't. This is a strawberry shortcake berry bitty market playset incomplete retired 2010. And I got this out of a thrift store mystery toy box and it's got the little uh, toys that go with it. And I ended up selling this for a best offer of $20 plus shipping. This is a Garfield. And if I remember correctly, this also came out of a thrift store Christmas mystery box. It's from 1981. And it says, gimme, gimme sweater. I don't know. It's a, it says, gimme, gimme on the sweater. But it's got the original little Dakin tag here. And it's super, super cute. I sold this for $27.90 plus shipping. That was my sale price. This bunny bowl is adorable. I don't I don't remember where I got it. I don't know what I paid for it, but it's pretty cool. I'm going to guess I probably paid a buck or two for it because that's usually what I pay for things. I don't know what this says. It's probably the artist. I just thought it was cute, so I bought it. Um I sold this for a best offer of $20 plus shipping. The next item is this keychain. It is a Wonder Woman keychain DC superhero girls plush. It's like a backpack clip. And I think this one also sold to Hot Toys Summer in the City, if I remember correctly. Uh, took a best offer of $8 plus shipping on this one. I've got this Hallmark the Polar Express plush Santa. It's a talking stuffed Christmas toy. And I've got a video down below that tells how or shows how it works and that it works. And he sold pretty quickly. This came out of the plush lot that I got from a viewer. Um, she reached out to me and said, I have all this plush. I need it out of my house tomorrow. If you can come get it tomorrow, you can have it all for free. So I made arrangements and I'm like, oh, I do not need all this plush. But I'm like, that's just too good to be true, right? Well, it was true. And I went and picked it all up and I've got it all listed in my store and the items are selling. So very, very thankful for that. I will link her down in the description of the video and you guys can check out her eBay store. And let's see, $15.50 on this and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this little cutie. I got this at a garage sale for 50 cents and she even had like this little mark on her face. So she was not perfect, but I could not find another one like her. If I remember correctly, I found other ones, but not one that said love bug. And that one and has stain on face. So do you see how mine says condition used? If you are on your phone, it does not have a spot for you to add this information right here. You have to go over to your computer and add it on your computer. If your item has a defect or an issue, I highly, highly recommend that you go into your computer and take the time to add it because a lot of times people do not read your descriptions and they do not look at the photos. And if it is right there under the condition, they are gonna know. So that is my Bolo Buddies tip of the day. Um, so the person that bought this also bought this Coles Cares plush kitty and they paid $19.84 for the two items here and they were all in for $32.60. The next item is this vintage Fisher Price Loving Family Sweet Streets. So this is the smaller version. It's the Sweet Streets version. Merry go round. Uh, I paid 50 cents for this at a garage sale. Took a best offer of $10 plus shipping. Thomas the Train. Um, now, a lot of times I will bundle these in lots. 
Um, but this one, I there weren't a whole lot of Emily's out there. And she's from 2013, so I did list her separately. She did have her little tender on the back. And I got this at a garage sale for 25 cents. I sold it for $9.30 plus shipping. These are Fisher Price animals, uh, little people. I always pick these up. You guys, they're marked. They say little people right on them. Let me see if I can find a photo. Um, I did show the bottom to show dates. Where is it? Oh my goodness. Do I not have a photo of the little people where it says it? Oh my goodness. Where is it? How did I miss that? There it is right there. You see it? So some of them they're showing, but they all will be marked little people. You can see the writing on the back of the, whatever that is, goat. And I got these at the Goodwill Bins and I sold these for $11.16 plus shipping. I always pick up Fisher Fry, Fisher Price little people. I actually have a huge tote full of these that I need to list. And I just keep throwing them in the tote. And when it's garage sale season, I find them all the time. And I just bring them home, throw them in a tote. And when I get them at the Goodwill Bins, I list them immediately because I want to put out my Goodwill Bins videos and show you guys what I got. So that is why I have a money pile because the garage sale stuff, I never get to it. I get to the stuff that I'm doing videos on and my money pile is growing and growing and growing. So I think a lot of that money pile is going to come to whatnot. I'm going to probably do toys and jewelry after I finish my vintage clothing and the crafting items. And I'm just going to start to, you guys know that I'm like a long tail. I price my stuff up and I take offers and I'm a long tail res reseller. I call myself because I like to get a good value out of my items. I don't like to crash the market and bring down um, the value of things. So I keep my prices you know, not on the super high end, but more in the medium to high range. I don't, I'm not the lowest on eBay ever. Um, so whatnot is totally different. You know, I'm selling things much cheaper, um, but I'm moving things quickly and I kind of like that. So it's kind of a good balance for me and I thought it would bother me and it doesn't. Um, I really enjoy it. So follow me on whatnot. I am Bolo Buddies down um, over on whatnot down in the description. If you want to join with my link, you can get $15 to shop. You do not have to shop from my whatnot show. You can shop from anyone's. I mean, if you want to use it at my whatnot show, that would be incredible, but no pressure to do that. But you do get that 15 bucks if you use it to join. And if you want to sell on whatnot, there's another link. So after you sign up as a buyer, you can use the seller link to apply to sell. And, um, that will say I referred you and, from what I hear, you're more than more likely to get accepted. Um, I know it depends on which category you apply for. I am in vintage and estate, I believe. I think that's what I applied for. So, but um, certain categories are saturated, and I think that it's a little bit harder to get into some of those. So, this is a Kurt Adler Peanuts Santa Snoopy Christmas plastic light set. Mm -hmm. And I got this out of a thrift store mystery box, took a best offer of $15 plus shipping, and that one sold really quick. I don't know if you guys saw this video, but I bought some wigs at a garage sale and I got a really, really good deal on them. And this one actually sold for $15 plus shipping. It's a vintage boy doll wig playhouse from Japan made in Korea. I have no idea. I just wrote whatever it said on the tag here and uh, took a best offer of 15. The buyer was all in for 2210 and I got about a quarter in that. These are Hanes women's size 10 high cut panties and another item that just flew out of my store. These came from an estate sale, uh, probably a dollar or less in them. And you guys, they're wedgie free. I mean, come on, everybody needs wedgie free, high cut cotton, no write ups, right? Come on. Sold these for $14 plus shipping. The next item here is this uh, VTech uh, Go Go Smart Friends pink bed. And I probably used Google Lens to figure this out. If you guys aren't using Google Lens, definitely put that on your phone. It's an app. It's a free app. I have a video on it. Search Google Lens Bolo Buddies. It'll pull it up and I'll show you exactly how to use it. It will be your best friend when you are out at garage sales and trying to find comps on items that you don't know how to identify. I mean, this is a hard thing to find because it's not really labeled. And I got this at a thrift store for a quarter, took a best offer of $5 plus shipping, probably something you guys wouldn't mess with, but I did. 
This is um, Vintage 5 Asian Japanese Birds Die Cut Bookmark Set. These are incredible. I These were long tail. They took a long time to sell. I actually had two sets. One set sold super quickly, and this set was like forever. I don't know if I had bad keywords or what, but they are stunning. Just stunning. Garage sale for a buck, and I sold these for $12 plus shipping. Somebody, I think, got a really good deal on those. This is a Disney Pixar Toy Story Rex opposable talking figure. I got this out of a thrift store mystery box and I sold this for $15 plus shipping. This is a vintage pound puppy plush. It's a stuffed animal. And this one came from the Goodwill bins. So, you know, it's $1.89 a pound at my bins. So probably less than a dollar in this. Sold it for $11.16 plus shipping. This next item came out of a mystery box, um, a T-bowl. I, did I talk about that at the beginning? I think I had another item from her at the beginning. Yeah, I had the gas cap from her. I think this was in the same box. And these uh, vintage Pokemon balls, they're, I, I don't know what they're from, but they're from 1999. They're harder to find. I had eight of them. $28 plus shipping. And that was definitely awesome. So again, auctions for you. She's linked below. Here's another piece that came out of that box. And this one, I had no idea what it was. I tried Google Lens. I could not figure it out. The only thing I could figure out is this probably is from a play set and it's probably a replacement part. I was able to identify that this was Batman and it was Bruce Wayne. And I put that in my title and I was like, I hope somebody uses Google Lens to figure this out. And you guys, it sold super fast for $12.40 plus shipping. So um, that's another way that Google Lens can help you. If you have that crisp white background and somebody is searching Google Lens for something, it will pull your item up. So even if you don't have a great title, an image search probably picked it up. Nancy Tillman Polar Bear Plush. This one came from my free plush lot that I got from a viewer and I sold this for $12.40 plus shipping. This next item are these vintage 1984 strawberry shortcake, orange blossom and blue muffin. This came from a garage sale. I paid about 50 cents for these. Took a best offer of $19 plus shipping. And the last item are these vintage glass candy ornaments. Um, they are really, really cute. They're from 2002. There's four of them. They came out of a thrift store mystery box. So my cost of goods was probably a dollar or less. And I sold these for $14.75 plus shipping. So that is how you do it. That's how you turn 30 bucks into over $400. And um, it's just amazing. Reselling is so fun. I mean, I get just as excited about a small sale as I do a big sale. And the ones that I get really excited about are the things that have been sitting and sitting and sitting. And then all of a sudden it sells. But I also get really excited about the things that sell fast. I think I just get excited about every single thing that I sell. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, the gal that gave me the free flush, not flush, <laughs> the free flush, I am going to link her down below in the description and you guys can check out her eBay store. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching and I will see you at the next one.